dear friend this is my tutorial 3 in material studio so in this tutorial you can learn how to model orthorhombic graphene based single atom catalyst so this is the orthorhombic graphene unit cell i'm going to use for to model the SACs. so this is the unit cell parameter of this orthorhombic graphene this is a a is a 2.468 uh, this one and uh, b is a uh, a is a 2.468 so b is 4.276 so alpha beta gamma is 90 degree so this is the lattice parameter of uh, this material graphene so this is the paper they published uh, the uh, lattice parameter for this orthorhombic graphene so i will show you the next slide so in this paper you can see they also given the graphene cell orthorhombic a equal to 4.254 b equal to 2.46 so before doing your uh, single atom catalyst studies so that you need to optimize the bulk system of the orthorhombic crystal then only you will get the correct results so don't do without optimizing the bulk one okay so please do it bulk optimization and then make for single atom catalyst so i yet did not make a bulk optimization just i am using that orthorhombic cells to create a single atom catalyst site okay so this is one of the paper they used the orthorhombic uh, graphene structure to make the single atom catalyst okay so this is the they made a single atom catalyst using this orthorhombic graphene on our, another paper uh, you can see the nature catalyst this paper also they used orthorhombic graphene to model uh, graphene single atom catalyst so this is the different model they used so i'm going to make you this model only so if you see this atom arrangement slightly different from the earlier paper okay so i will show you how to adjust that uh, atom in the unit cell and uh, make similar kind of thing so just to open your uh, material studio so this is that uh, orthorhombic c5 so just i will drag it here yeah this is that orthorhombic crystal So just change into ball and stick. So just you can uh, walk display style and do it this and you can click this uh, calculate bond to make bonds. Okay. So that's all. So now we will make a 4 into 2 um, super cell for a single atom catalyst. Okay. So first uh, right click and uh, click display style and uh, go to lattice here you can see the minimum maximum range so here you can see but, uh, make it 4 into b2 okay so that's all so this close it so now you can go to build you can see here symmetry go to supercell click supercell 4 into 2 c equal 1 okay so just click create supercell the supercell is created so this is the 4 into 2 units so now we can make here single atom case just you can make die vacancy just to select this two atom delete it so now you can select this four atom in order to make nitrogen okay then go to modify modify element make it nitrogen okay now you got four nitrogen single atom then you can click this uh, sketch atom and you can find a periodic table so we will say we, we can make here manganese okay so just to select manganese and click ok and click here and it will show just to come here and just click double click it will stop okay click and then double click okay yeah. okay then you can delete uh, if uh, another one more atom is there that's all so now you can put down slightly 
so then uh, we can click this uh, bond option so now bond will create it so this is the manganese supported single atom catalyst so if you want you can adjust the c axis up to 15 armstrong okay then only there then only the interaction may be may not be there okay so this is the first model so if you want to keep absorb it on the, the site just you can uh, click a uh, sketch atom and you click uh, you want to put carbon monoxide means just you click carbon so click there and keep uh, under do like this if you mouse if you wrote change it will cheat also and ch change so just click it and also double click it will stop if you double click from the continuation will cut that's all so now you can change it like uh, atom change click select that one click element and go to oxygen so now okay so now you can um, click this uh, calculate bond so then it now automatically calculate c the triple bond o. so just you can make it a uh, adjustment and make linear okay so the c length you can adjust based on your record and basically people will have 15 to 20 armstrong they will keep so to stop the interlayer in interactions okay this is the first one so we will do the second one uh, the, in the second nature catalyst paper they just uh, adjust this the atom in the unit cell single atom catalyst okay so how they did mean just you select that one um, then you can uh, control uh, shift you can click shift just to select the atom and move it will move like this so you can keep nearly the center one i think uh, this is enough so that's all okay we will keep center then you can click uh, display style you can see here lattice just uh, alter it it will come inside that things okay so we have made it uh, different uh, we have changed the atom arrangement here okay so here we can make a 3 into 2 units into 3 into 2 so this is enough so we have made it 3 into 2 unit cell so so this is the one just now we can make into um, go to build symmetry supercell create 3 into 2 okay that's all just close in these things then you can make uh, select this atom just uh, clicking so if you want to click like this one atom will click if you shift it it will click uh, then it will select two atom then you can delete it then you can select shift and this uh, mouse left click okay then you can modify your attachment to nitrogen similarly what i put that manganese atom we can have fe here so just to select fe and double click it will stop okay then you can make uh, this bond option so that's how we made our orthorhombic uh, single atom catalyst okay so that's all you can use uh, i will share this model to you that uh, orthorhombic uh, crystal so you can make uh, your crystal structure and do your dft calculation okay make uh, like this different kind of tension metal do different kind of uh, catalysis so thank you for watching if you like my content please like subscribe and comment and share and also please that bell icon for my future updates so thank you thank you for your time thank you